Now we're going to talk about actions in Photoshop and actions are a powerful way to automate um, sets of commands and functions and um, different techniques inside Photoshop and apply them to images or a series of images um, which you can automate or you can also just use them to speed up your workflow and automate some tools using the actions. Now you could get to them by doing window actions or if you already set up your workspace the little play button icon which is actions brings up your actions panel let's tear that off for a second now you have default actions in here by default and that's some presets that Photoshop gives you for some common tasks that you might use and we'll get into that in a second but first on the top right you have your rollout which has all the commands for your actions. So you have new action, new set, duplicate, delete, play, etc. Start recording and we'll go through this stuff individually in a little bit but then you also have some more presets that Photoshop gives you that are sets that uh, have to deal with different um, practices. So there's some commands, some production stuff, textures, etc. And then since I set my actions up to be in the right folder location through my preferences and my preset manager. Now the ones that I have are available here. So just quickly we'll show you how to load up a set if you already have them. So you click on this and you could do load actions and again it looks in your um, application support Adobe Photoshop presets actions that's where I copied mine and I have my general which I'm just gonna load that in and in here I have some simple tasks that I use for my workflow which is flip horizontal flip vertical rotate canvas etc not too many but they're just simple ones that I use and then if you just want to save a set simply select your set not your individual actions but your set click your menu save actions then you could go ahead and name your set and save it to the location where you'd like which I suggest again in your application support presets action and to create a set like this what we're gonna do is go ahead and you can use the menu here to new action new set or at the bottom you have new set new action delete play, record, etc. Now you can't record anything yet because we haven't created a new set. So the best way to do this is to go ahead and create a folder or a new set. We call this like Dave's new. You can see that there's our folder. And inside there you create your action. And you, there's your new action. And we could just call this test. And the way that the actions work or a way that you can trigger them is through a function key F1 through F12 and then you could apply shift or command to it and you could also apply and color code them. Now let's just do a simple action. I'm going to hit record and Photoshop is going to mimic and record what I do. So I'm just going to make a simple selection and I'm going to fill it with a color and hit stop. So if we roll out our action here, you can see it, it set my selection. Then I filled using my background color, which I didn't really want because I screwed it up. Um, you could take that and just delete it. So you can edit your action just like that. And under the fill, I just use filled using my foreground color at 100%. Now, let's go ahead and undo that. Or I'm just going to actually revert my file. And we could trigger this by Shift F1, or we could simply hit the play button. And if we look in our history, You can see that 
we made the rectangular marquee and it filled it. So if you kind of think about this, anything that you do in Photoshop can be recorded. Now paint strokes and stuff are a little bit of a different case, but all the commands and functions that are in Photoshop, you know, things in your layers, your channels, your paths, all the different panels and palettes, you can record that as well. So let's go ahead and do a more complicated action. And then we're going to batch automate it and apply it to a series of images. Now I'm going to create a new set for this um, series of actions. And so let's do that. And I'm going to call this Panorama. And so what I'm going to do is some color correction on this image. And I'm going to record it. And then we're going to apply that as a batch action to the rest of the panorama images. So let me dock this first, sort of get it out of the way a little bit. Open my actions. Create a new action. I'm not going to call it image color correct. I'm not going to set a function key right now for this, um, but I'll just color code it. Let's just make it red. So I'm going to hit record, and then I'm going to start color correcting it through a series of um, adjustment layers. Now since we're recording an action, um, I don't want to spend the time to really go through everything that I'm doing here, and uh, we'll just jump ahead to the end result of the action and take a look at what we have there. And if you want to find out more about exactly what I'm doing here during this um, action process, I'm doing some color correction using um, adjustment layers, and you can watch that in the chapter that's color correction using adjustment layers and we'll just jump ahead to the end of the action. So now that we've recorded our action, we're going to go ahead and apply that to the series of panorama images and color correct them through a batch action or batch automation. So to do that, go to File, Automate, Batch. That brings up your menu dialog and under Play you have your panorama or Dave's new, which we created earlier, but we're going to use Panorama. And then the action we're going to use is the image color correct. That, that's what we just recorded. The source is folder, or if you have files that are open in Photoshop, you can apply it to that, but we're just going to use folder. We're going to choose the folder that we want. And so I have my Panorama. I'm going to choose that folder. And override action, open commands. That means that if you recorded any open um, from within your action, it's basically going to override that and automatically just open your files. Include all subfolders. Now if you have subfolders in your um, folder, like I do, I have this corrected, we don't want to do that. So we don't want to include all sub subfolders. If you do, click that box. Suppress file open options dialogs. You can go ahead and click that. Basically that if it has to open in your batch, um, you could suppress that and just kind of tell it to open. And suppress color profile warnings. I usually just leave those on. Now moving to the destination, we can either just do save and close or we could save them all to a folder. So I'm going to choose my folder. I'm going to choose my corrected folder. And there's the override action save as command, which I did do some save as. And we're going to click that. Um, so it says, when this option is on, files would be saved to the destination folder older, only by save as steps in the action. If there are no save or save as steps, no files will be saved. So with this, we want to click this off because we want it to actually save our stuff. Because I included those in the action because I'm saving out a PSB file and then also a JPEG. So I don't want to override those. And then you have your file naming here and your extension. So I'm just going to call this Pano. And there's your extension. If you want to add a number, you can go ahead and click this and say, I want a two digit serial number. And so you can see you have Pano01. I'm going to put an underscore in there. And here's your example Pano01 plus your serial number, and 
lowercase extension, and there you go. Then you're starting serial, compatibility, Windows, Mac, Unix, I'm on a Mac, stop for errors, and then there you go. So what we're going to do here is let it rip, and it's going to process all those images using our batch. Now we're not going to sit and watch it process on this DVD, so we're just going to jump ahead when it's done and uh, take a look at it then. So Photoshop completed our batch action, and uh, well, let's jump into Adobe Bridge really quick. And I'm going to take a look at my folder where it exported all that stuff. And in my corrected folder, I have now my new panorama images that have the color correction on them. And they all sort of match a little bit. Let's go back into Photoshop. And now that's pretty much how we did the batch. Just a review. You create a set. You create your new action, you record, and then you edit. If you want to save, click on your menu, save actions. And then if you want to batch, go into File, Automate, Batch. But that's pretty much it for the batch actions. And um, next, we're going to stitch these together and create one single panorama and then we're going to do some edits there and we're also going to do some sky replacement on this.